this is the mold of that little um, ceramic doll leg that I found. I thought it'd be interesting to make a mold of it. What I'm doing right here is I'm just removing this bottom bit. And I just tried to cut around it so I wouldn't have to accidentally tear the mold. There's not a whole lot of material on here anyways. So this right here, let's see if I can get this to focus. This right here is my doll leg. That's the foot, there's the heel. So now I've had it, now I have an idea of which way it's facing. The foot is facing this way. Now what I can do is I can better plan how I want to separate it from the mold. Um, I did notice that it looks like it's a little bit thin on this side. So if that's the heel and the legs going up, there's probably not going to be that much material right there. So I'm going to leave it there. This is pretty thick. So I feel like it, it might be a better bet to go uh, along the foot here and create a, a cut. So that's what I'm going to do. And as I create the cut, now you, you've got to be careful if you have a really delicate object. You definitely don't want to scratch it. But I mean, this object, I don't know, it's been in my backyard underground for... 30 plus years, right? So notice what I'm doing is I'm using my fingers to pull and separate out that rubber. I'm not, I'm trying to do it in one single cut. And this is hard on my sore thumbs, but whoops, you can hear the blade kind of dancing along the surface there. I'm just going to cut up like that. And I don't think I'm going to go all the way. I'm just going to go that far. And then from the other side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push and pull this out. See? And there is the leg. And here is the leg mold. And you can see, even though it's a little bit thinner there, I'm protecting it. That has so much rubber, it's easy to um, just wrap back up. And we'll um, pour a mold of this. We'll pour a mold of the dragon. And we'll pour, uh, or we'll cast, I should say. We'll cast. <laughs> we'll, the mold is this part. We will cast a, a positive from this. We will cast a positive from the dragon mold too. So I wanted to show you the demolding process. Here's the um, the dragon. This guy's in there. So I wanted to take the mold apart. <clears throat> and uh, looks like I had a pretty good pour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very, very gently try to pull this apart. Now I do remember And there it is. Um, this stuff right here is flash and uh, it can kind of be cut off and you can carve back into your object. You're gonna have a little bit of flash unless you've done a really meticulous job on your mold. Um, there are other ways, of course, of creating two-part molds. It looks like we um, didn't quite get his horn, but that's typical. So sometimes what I'll do is if I have a, if I have a, um, something that's that is that <clears throat> um, small I'll just go ahead and cut like a little a little area in there where it can um, the, the air or the, the more material can get in there okay. also wanted to take apart this is the leg 